Hello everyone, welcome to Edusil. This video we are going to discuss the two different hosts which we have kept as host 1 and host 2 here. From both the end we will transfer the data means the VOIP signal or VOIP packet will be from uh, host 1 to host 2 via this switch 0 and again from host 2 to host 1 again uh, via uh, switch 0 so this is going to uh, we have going to write, uh, write the code for it and uh, I think those who have not seen the previous video please go and watch the to see the, the previous video uh, which has been uh, kept in our description of our channel you click you can click there the first uh, model we are going to check is how the both the end they can communicate before that we have to check the source file no need to change it because we kept as the information as the ethernet as 100 and everything we have set as for the requirement no need to change here better i discussed in a previous video like ina file which is the executable file here we have to focus on the number of applications uh, we kept as one why because uh, just a simple uh, voice communication uh, from one end to another we kept here to add another one we just change it to two next certain uh, information we have to change as here you can click So zero we set uh, zero where zero applications host one is the sender and here for zero host two is the receiver. Now we kept an application as one throughout because another application we set here in another application. If you want, you can change the application details or if you want, you can run that also. Whether it could be better I just want to delete this one and for the same one I just want to run a ping application ping application basically it will check whether another uh, application like uh, another host is alive or not so to check that we are going to uh, use the application as ping application ping app you can check whether it is running fine or not no need to change other things because other things if you want to change you can change uh, uh, the rest of the things are okay not an issue but just ping up we are going to check whether it is fine or not like you know from host 1 to host 2 whether a communication could be established or not so you can check yes the environment is set now I just clicked on the wrong button I just want to check yes the reply request is done yes request it has to request to host the host is now replied yes now the ping will start yeah ping zero okay yes it's done with the host two now and reply is sent one time we have sent it's enough yeah okay means we are running fine this one now our next target is ping application so from ping means who we can start application we can start running the codes from one end to another end like we got the reply somewhere we got, we are requesting the packet to somewhere so here i just add the second application now we run this one okay now the application 0 represents the host 1 and application 0 represents also host 2 as a receiver. Now we are going to uh, add one more uh, event which is 1 now. Here in host uh, we just change that host 2 as sender that I told you before. So here we focus on the uh, host uh, port number. Why? Because the same port number if you are running it will be a problem it will not run basically so I just want to change it as 3000 and here the destination though we started from the host 2 I kept the destination as host 1 now here host 1 will be a receiver uh, site for application 1 the port we have to set 
as we set as 3000 for application 1 once it is done next we have to uh, go to the good channel here host 1 we have to write why because host 1 is destination for the application 1 now we kept delay as 5 seconds so it is done now and as for the information our target is both end they will get communicate once it is done so you can click on run button and the environment will be created within certain time okay now the pop-up will come it is again asking over the good channel so those who have not yet visited not yet view the, the previous one or uh, the previous video which we have uploaded please check that one first once you're okay with it then you check this video which could be more efficient for you to understand so here as for this post one destination port address it is asking we have set the destination port address for post one is 2000 so we simply write 2000 then press ok it is asking the destination for the application 0 and host 1 the destination address which we have already set as host 2 here so we just simply write host 2 now press ok once it is done for the application 1 which we recently uh, written the code for host 2 application 1 destination port though we have changed it as 3000 we just write as 3000 now press ok now here the application the destination address we set is at host 1 okay so host 2 destination address we have to write as host 1 now once it is done with Yes, so you get an environment where the network details are written so the network name which we created as configure uh, letter A you can change it as for you wish now we are going to run this so both the end first they will go for the request uh, using the switch and request will be sent as for the, uh, the request then we will be getting the reply once the reply we are getting so both the end they will send a transfer this you know a view ip here you can check from both the end the view ip is getting transferred and once they got it the same they will expect the same thing again so this is how both the end like host 1 will transfer the data to host 2 and host 2 will transfer the data to host 1 in a good channel where packet is not getting dropped so it's of uh, is our this session is all about like we will focus on, on how they are getting communicated using view ip so you can uh, now stop it and you can check the result part if the result part as we have already seen in a general so scholar here you can check the same thing uh, if you want to check is there any packet drop or not here you can check drop you can write so certain things if you want to check you can find out the values here though we focus on the good channel so the packet we have already written as the false means drop should not be there so you can check you can check the informations there as per the information you can create a bar graph or anything any chart if you want to create you can create immediately once again i am going to uh, show this thing uh, which i have already shown in the previous uh, video so you can check just a graph we created here so the summarization of it uh, we have seen how a view ip packet is getting transferred using a weird medium in a simplex manner as well as you know have full duplex manner so in this way we uh, conclude uh, this video with little bit information added like wired connection with the VoIP communication
next uh, session we are going to add our next video we are going to add like wireless uh, host will be there where the view IP communication will be established thank you all of you to watch this if any issue you are going to find please comment below and we will reply you back thank you once again have a good day